Hey guys, I never wear pigtails, so. Hey guys, it's Grace, and today I am doing a photo shoot tips and tricks video. I'm not like super big into photography yet. Like, I love it a lot, but like, I'm not like a professional or anything. So, I mean, these tips and tricks aren't like. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so I am going to be sharing with you guys 10 different tips that I use every single time I go on a photo shoot. The reason why I'm sharing this with you guys is just because, I mean, if you're watching these videos, um, you might also like photography like me. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first tip I have for you guys is to wear crazy clothing. Something about this is just like catches the eye in pictures when your clothes are like mismatching or like... Even when you're wearing like polka dots and floral or something, like it mixes and clashes and it makes it really like pop and stand out in a photo. I do this in some of my pictures. It really depends, I guess, what you're going for. But if you really want to stand out and kind of be kind of fun, I would really recommend wearing crazy clothing. My second um, tip is to brush your teeth before you go on a photo shoot. You never really want to just, you know, like be a smile and then suddenly be like, oh, there's some corn in my teeth. So that's always... Really big disappointment when you look at your photos and you realize that you had food in your teeth the whole time. I guess that really um, only happens to people with braces in their teeth. Or maybe it doesn't, I don't really know. Okay, my third tip is to have your phone charged because it really sucks when you're like taking pictures and then, you know, your camera dies and you're like, crap, that sucks. But then you have to like transfer to your phone and if your phone's only at like 10% then you're kind of screwed and there's like, you're, yeah. So, have your phone charged. Which brings me into the next tip, which is it's okay to take pictures on your phone instead of a camera. Cameras are amazing. They really create outstanding pictures. But if all you have is a phone, it's really okay. You just have to work on getting, you know, good angles, having good lighting, and then your outcome of your picture will just be overall better. If you take pictures on an iPhone, you just really need to make sure that you have good editing. If you're taking it on an iPhone, a great app to use is Visco or VS, you know, whatever you want to say. I use this for all of my vacation feed, um, and it actually turned out really well. I ended up using C1 and C3, and it really looked really nice. The most of those pictures were taken with a camera, but still, using Visco for your editing can turn out really nice. If you're using a computer, I use Lightroom, I edit with presets, and just do stuff on there. My next tip is look natural when you pose. It really is annoying when, you know, you're taking pictures and are just like... Like, when I take pictures, I mean, I guess it all goes for what you're like. If you're like that, go for it. It'll probably look great, but I mean, it does not look good for me. I have to be like very natural. I have to, you know, kind of flick my hair sometimes, do different things with my arms, um, usually I have an accessory or something that I need to hold because it feels a lot more natural than just, you know, like just doing weird stuff with your hands because they, I just do weird stuff with my hands sometimes. So I always like having a little, you know, accessories on hand and yeah, just try to look really natural and your pictures will just overall just look better. Next tip is having messy hair. I love having ha straightening my hair. Actually, like 99% of the time my hair is like straightened or just like in its natural wave. When I straighten my hair, it just, it looks good. And then when you go take pictures though and it's windy, it just doesn't look good. So um, usually I like to curl my hair and then the wind will kind of mess with it and make it look messy. It just looks really pretty and like full when your hair is just like messy. I don't know, it's something that I like. So maybe that's not you, but I love when hair is just messy in pictures. So definitely recommend curling or doing something messy with your hair when you go on a photo shoot. My next tip is to do your eyebrows, do your mascara, put a little bit of makeup. Um, and usually, actually sometimes I don't even wear any makeup at all, but it really sucks when I look back on my pictures and I'm like, crap, my eyebrows are not even combed out. What even? This is so bad. I don't even want to post this anymore because my eyebrows look horrible. Just like, if you know some things bug you when you look at your pictures, just try to fix them beforehand and then you just like, it just, yeah, okay. My next tip is to pack a healthy snack and water. Lately, I've been packing 
bringing a water bottle with me just because you know I need to stay hydrated and all that stuff and then I also like to bring a healthy snack because you know I need food and you kind of get tired when you're just like standing and walking in the sun to all of your you know photography places so okay and this is my last tip and this is my favorite of all time play music when you are going on photo shoots and, uh... When I play music, it is so much easier to think of poses. It's like, just like, music just brings me in spell, and I'm just like, yes, get it, get it. Like, when I have music, you know, like, you just dance and do weird stuff, and usually just ends up looking good for me, so, I mean, why not try it? If you want some good music that kind of gives you inspiration while taking pictures, make sure to check out my Spotify, which is right here, so go check that out, because... I have some really good jams on there that are just like so inspirational for a photo shoot, so. Okay, so that should be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and turn on my post notifications because, you know. Okay, so that's really all and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!